What's good, YouTube? It's your boy AK. Back at it with another one. Back at it with another banger. Today, I got a topic that I kind of been thinking about all week. To be quite honest, I was really avoiding this topic. I really wasn't going to speak on it. I didn't. I felt. I feared, if I'm being quite honest, after what I, the ordeal that happened with my last video, if you haven't seen it, make sure you go click and watch it with China. Again, like I said in that video, I, I, I exist in this world in a black man's body. Unfortunately or fortunately, that comes with a lot of uh, 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 BS. All right, meaning is, if you say something about what's going on in the world and, and you exist in a white man's body, you might get away with it. I might come here and say the same thing and I will get the harsh treatment. So, again, disclaimer, before I get into this, everything that I, this, this show is purely for entertainment purposes. I'm not trying to incite a civil war, but I'm going to explain why I'm saying that. Everything here purely entertainment. If I say I did some, somebody did some, somebody's gonna do some. Entertainment purposes only not to be taken seriously. And not to be used in any court of law or any such. Okay? Not gonna curse. Not gonna do it. But I'm gonna come here today and say what I gotta say. Let's jump right into it. My Americans, and I love you Americans. I really do love Americans. And this is why I be going at y'all a lot. Because I love you. America, I used to want to live in America so bad. I still have hopes and dreams of visiting America and coming to VidCon and, you know, hanging out at these YouTuber meetups and conventions. So America's America. It's always going to be, it's always going to have a place in my heart. Oh, America, can't you see? Uh, 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 uh. America, it is safe to say, and again, I apologize for any feelings that I hurt today. Because I'm going to be hurting some feelings. I just want you to know it's not coming from a malicious place. I want you to understand something. A few things. Number one, the human being is flawed. And I want to say that first because a lot of things that are going to be discussed today, we cannot, you know, we got to we gotta agree on a fact. Can we all agree on the fact that the human being is flawed, right? The human being is not perfect. The biggest proof of that is look at my hairline. Far from perfect. So the human being is flawed. I'm going to save you from having to look at it. But the human being is, is, is flawed. It's not perfect. No one is perfect. We're all humans. We all have human characteristics. We all are emotional. We all can tend to cheat, lie, steal, etc. That's the first thing. Second thing I was going to say is, it is safe to say, I'm sorry to say that, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. No, I'm not going to say you're an NPC. You already know that from the last video. All I'm going to say is, <laughs> America is no longer a first world country. I am sorry. America, in my opinion, my personal opinion, is no longer a first world country. If I'm in America and I fear for my life more than I'm in, let's say, a uh, war-torn Iraq or Afghanistan or, or the Gaza Strip. If I'm in America and I got to look out and watch my back and more than I'm in, a, let's say, a Pakistan, I'm sorry to say, this is not a first world country. If I'm in America and everybody walking around like, like it's GTA 5, okay? With a, with a big chopper. Whether they, I'm sorry to say, this is not a first world country. I'm sorry. Now, 
I've had the pleasure of being around a lot of places in the world, a lot of countries growing up. Due, due to my family's work, I bounced around a lot. I never really had a stable childhood, if you want to call it that. But I bounced around a lot, and I lived a lot of places. I got to see a lot of different places, so I can bring a lot of different perspectives. In my opinion, right now, Saudi Arabia is safer than America. I'm sorry! Yo, you ain't no way to sugarcoat it and lie. I am not, I'm not a Democrat. I am not a Republican. Matter of fact, I am not even American. My values, however, are, are I have a lot of values from either both sides. My values used to be, like growing up, I would align myself with more the Democratic side. Nowadays, I am starting to feel myself more on the conservative side because I believe in things such as anti-censorship, uh, 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 freedom of speech, yada, yada, yada. Try not to make more of these noises, I'm sorry. But you get what I'm saying? These values and, 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 and beliefs that I have used to be on the Democratic side. Right now it's the opposite. Right now it's on the conservative side. Never thought I'd see this world. Big T. Donald Trump. Donald J. Trump. Alright. His crib. Out of Florida. Mar-a-Lago. Santiago. Or, or Monte Carlo. Whatever. I don't know the place. He had a crib in, in Florida. Alright. Uh, shout, out, shout out Big T. I love Big T. I'm going to tell you. I used to not like him at all. When he first came, I'm not religious, but I grew up Muslim. My whole family's Muslim. I watched Muslims get oppressed all the time growing up, endure racism and whatnot. So when I see him come on TV and say, I call a shutdown of all Muslims, obviously I didn't like him. When I see him, I'm from Sudan. When I see him put Sudan on that country's list that he had that's banned from the U.S., obviously I didn't like Trump. Later down the road, four years into his term, or three years, two years, my opinion started to shift on him. I was like, okay, this guy is cuckoo. They're all cuckoo. They're all going to do certain stuff. When it comes to being a president, talking to these countries and negotiating for his country, he was doing an excellent job at it. Amazing. I can't take that away from him, whether he likes me or not. Biden will come and tell you, if you don't vote for me, you're racist. Huh? Biden, the B word that you got with you, her name is Kamala Harris. I used to like her as well until I found out she incarcerated how many black people. She, she contributed to this mass incarceration problem you guys got. So I used to like Biden. I came not, not to like. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm going to explain. Coming to you. Trump, I used to not like him. No, I like him. Because he's truthful. Because he says how he feels. Because he's not. If he don't like you, Muslim, he's going to tell you, hey, you're, I don't like you. I'd rather you tell me, I don't like you, than pretend to like me and, 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 and abuse it and use it. Now here's, here's my perspective on why the raid happened. Media sources say, or the narrative that is out there in the media, is saying that Donald Trump, after leaving office, have left with a couple uh, boxes that he should have taken at the White House containing X amount of classified documents that should have never left the White House. One ex-CIA or CIA source, I'm not sure, reported in the media going around, said that Trump baited them into raiding him. Either or, I'm not sure. But I'm going to tell you why I think Big T bit. Now, when I heard the news, I thought about making a video on it right away. 
I didn't, I didn't know much about it, but I sat back and analyzed. I had to really think and study this. Why would America raid Trump? Let me tell you something about Americans. And this is, this is, I'm going to try to play this clip. If not, you could look it up of our Doug Ford, which is uh, the premier of Ontario, Canada. He was on TV and he swallowed a bee by accident. He was just talking on a microphone, giving a speech. A bee came oh, and he laughed about it. Canadian politics, looking at him in the past week, made me realize something about Americans. Why is it America loves this? Like, and if you're an FBI agent watching, let me tell you this. I know that maybe it was your dream one day when you were a kid, right? Before you joined the force or whatever, that you put on this jacket with the, with the yellow letters FBI. And you go and storm. Bah! Hands up. Freeze. Perpetuated by the video games and movies in Hollywood. They're drinking. I don't, I don't drink. But check this out. Like, is this, is this a dream thing? Because why everything in America, all your news, every, I, I'm just the outsider looking in. If that bee that Doug Ford swallowed, let's say Biden swallowed, oh, you know what would have happened? This is what would have happened. That bee, zzz. first of all, the Secret Service. Oh, bye -bye. Hands up, freeze. Secret service, bad. FBI would have came storming with the jackets and the map. SWAT team. Freeze, B. The, you know the B has a nest, right? The whole B's nest would have been charged with Rico. That was. <laughs> Why is everything in America an actual movie, bro? Like, can't you guys just chill and relax? This is a former president. Big T, you know, he's well respected in the hood. I was thinking, what did Big T do to deserve this, this whole action movie show? He, I mean, he's one of y'all, right? He's one of y'all. You guys eat pizza together? Don't you? He's, he's part of it. What, how do you do that to your own? Can't you just... A raid? Something didn't add up. But I started to sit back and think. Let's not pretend. Because I seen the guy on from the White House saying, No one is above the law. No one is above the law. I was born at night. But it wasn't yesterday night. It wasn't last night. No one is above the law? Really? First of all, shout out to my brother, Hunter Biden. I have no issues, and I don't want anything bad to happen to Hunter Biden. But I also don't want anything bad to happen to everyone else. See, I don't think Hunter Biden and his 20.7 grams of, of, of rock should be in any trouble. I don't think he should. I think if he has a, a, an addiction problem, or maybe he overcame it by now, I think he should get the help he deserves, go to rehab. He seems like a nice dude. He's one of the people. He likes to mingle and hang with the local rock dealers. So I have no problem with him, you know? He's one of us. He's, he's, he's one of the people. He shouldn't, he shouldn't be held to a higher standard. He sh you know, no one is holier than thou. So Mr. Joe, Sleepy Joe. Stop acting like you're holier than thou. Everybody knows you eat pizza. I still liked you because I thought you were going to do more for my people. Instead, you really wanted to put my people in, in, in jail. We're going to get PPP 10 years. PPP? Are you trying to start mass incarceration part two? Listen. And I'm not saying fraud is right, but PPP. So I was thinking maybe Trump, what did, what did they rate him for? Was he hitting off, was Big T hitting the PPP leg real quick? Huh? Did he get his 20 bounds? What happened? It wasn't that. 
What did he did he grab a did he grab a B word by the P word? It wasn't that either. Hmm. Melania set him up. I mean, maybe because he grabbed it by the P. She wasn't with the. She just wanted some D. I don't know. So I started digging. They said some papers. Uh, unless those papers. I mean, sources say, and this is all on the media. I'm not. I'm not making stuff up. I'm not Edward Snowden. I don't have like a source. A problem. I'm just reading stuff of public info. Sources say that those papers contain a list of corrupt officials. Makes sense. I can see why they rate him. Because either it must contain something about corrupt officials or something about extraterrestrials, aliens. Otherwise, why would you, why would you do this whole action movie over a box of papers? It's not like Big T was out here slanging dope. It's not like Big T was El Chapo. Anyway. I think the raid wasn't justified. I don't like how the U.S. has became so... And for whatever reason, it became so... Like, bro, you guys are moving so authoritarian and... Everything is just the action movie. You understand me? Like, wow, walk up, school shooter, ba 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 ba, anti school shooter, ba 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 ba, protect yourself. Everybody stand. I feel like I'm in Far Cry Five when I'm Far Cry Five or GTA Five. I'm sorry, bruh. That's not a first world country. No one, no one, no one, no one, no one. There's a lot of refugees there. No one really wants to live their life like that. Me included. Hence why I don't live in the U.S. Even though it could really been beneficial for my YouTube thing or my music thing. But I can't be around that. Everything. You know why I keep saying these disclaimers? I'm a black guy on this world. Do you see what's tatted on my face? That's the Bitcoin logo. If Joe would have seen me, Sleepy Joe, Joe Biden has said, this is a matter of national security. If he, if he, if he looks at my face, he going to look at this, he's going to say, what is that? Is that Bitcoin? That's a matter of national security. Shh, Bobby, go get him. 20 people jump in. Bye, 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 freeze. Da, da, da. I don't want that. I'm sorry. It's ridiculous. It's getting out of hand. Every other day, it's an action movie. It's, this is not right. Big T did hit a PPP. Now, I've been leading you up. I'm about to give you my perspective on why this happened. Hold on. Let me take a water break. In the beginning, I have said that the human being is flawed. Why I said that was, see... They have tried to say that no human being is, 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 is above the law. False. My boy Hunter seems pretty above the law with 20.7 T's. Don't do nothing to him, but also don't do nothing to the other people. I don't want to see nobody locked up. You guys incarcerate more people than the whole world. Don't you think that's a bit of an issue? Isn't that huh? a little bit weird? Anyway, so I have a Wikipedia page here on the Stanford Prison Experiment. What I love about this experiment, it proves that power absolutely corrupts. Doesn't matter if you have the most honorable person in the world, you give him all the power, it will absolutely corrupt him. Stanford Prison Experiment, for those that don't know, basically was is an experiment conducted at Stanford University. Uh, it was designed to examine the effects the vari uh, of, of, of variables, situational variables on participants and behaviors in a two-week in a two-week simulation of a prison environment. Stanford psychology professor Philip Zimbardo led the research team. I don't feel like reading this 
mumbo jumbo. I'm gonna tell it to you straight up in my way. Basically, basically, they made a prison environment and they took a bunch of students from, from Stanford. Some were gonna play the roles of uh, the prisoner. Some were gonna play the roles of the guards. <clears throat> As far as they were concerned, this was going to be as real as it gets. What ended up happening was the guards, of course, started abusing the guys who were playing the prisoners. Abuse came in many forms. Uh, I don't know if it became sexual, but I heard some things. But for what's really factual documented is they beat them up. They, you know, they did the th <clears throat> everyday things that happen in any prison. You know, you guys are not. You guys are not slow. You know what happens in these jails. They beat up the uh, the prisoners. You know, the guy his wife at home giving him headache. He comes to take it out on a guy who's incarcerated. Who obviously can't fight back because you wear a uniform. Power absolutely corrupts. No matter who you are, you get a position of power, most likely you're going to abuse it, one way or another. Do I think Biden sent this, 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 this hit team to go handle Trump like that in order to stop him becoming president? I don't know that for sure, but I know it's a possibility and a factor. Why I say that is the perspective... <clears throat> that I told you I'm going to bring you is this. Trump in the beginning may have used, allegedly, entertainment and everything I'm saying. But that's what I think. That's his thoughts in my head. And again, Trump, you watching this, I like you, bro. I'm not friends with him. I wish I was in case Sleepy Joe sees the national security on my head. <laughs> I'd like to have my part in like Kodak Black. So no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you know, but I'm going to speak my piece here. I'm not on this side or that side. I'm going to speak on what I see. I feel like Mr. T had his uh, way in through means outside of the normal voting system. If you thought that votes was everything, you must be slow. You must be living in a fictional reality. You must be one of the NPCs. Oh, I got a vote because I voted. Yay. It's not a secret. And I knew this because I did my research. And, uh, uh, uh. Let's just say I was tapped in. And I know that Donald Trump had some help from the Russians. And I don't mean Putin. <laughs> Hell no. I'm talking about the hackers. Yes. He's tapped in with the hackers. And he had, you know, people to maybe give him that extra push where they hacked, you know, the US voting thingies and mess with him in order to help our boy win. I didn't like him at the time, but I'm glad he won after all. When I came to see that how he helped the hood out, put money in the hood, and you know, he really did more for black people than Obama. So I'm willing to excuse that. But this is not a conspiracy theory. If you go on the FBI's website and look under cybercrime, one of the most wanted people is, 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 they have their own page actually. It's not even one person, it's like a bunch of Russians. Wanted in relations to meddling in the US elections 2016. So it's not a secret, everybody knows he had some Funky monkey business. Happened. It is what it is. Here's what I'm saying. Also, through my own research, I've come to find out that our homie Big T, and again, bro, I'm from the streets, so I'm not really faulting you or trying to act like I'm holier than thou. The way I see it, Big T is like the OG in the neighborhood. <laughs> he had some money laundering clouds f 
flying above his head, and many others. But Bunny Laundry stood out to me when I see one go golf course he had, where on paper it said like, let's say, this window cost sixty thousand to fix on paper, but when you come and see it, first of all, you know, ain't no money really flowing in, and the window don't cost sixty thousand, bro. Right? Keep it a hundred. I can get you, my guy from down the road, fix that for you for two hundred bucks. But it was a lot of stuff, questionable activities, if you will. Big T, I'm not faulting you, I'm not snitching on you. Everything I'm saying, I got it from the internet. I don't think you should be in any sort of, I'm defending you from this, just so you know. All right, so when you become president, don't come for me. I was just speaking my piece, dog. If I get in trouble, I'm gonna count on you. You let uh, Kodak Black, hey, I'm, I'm tapped in with the Haitians as well. So, that being said, again, he had some clouds hovering over, over. Somehow, some way, he became president. I, I don't, I didn't keep up with a lot of things he did in detail, but I do remember one thing very specifically. As soon as he got in, whoever at the FBI, someone there just, just, just they, they, I think they weren't feeling him, bro. They were like, "How the hell he went? You were trying to investigate the Russians. We made no more on it." I guess they felt they had integrity that day. And they wanted to, you know, cup for our doggy bone. But doggy bone, even he wasn't safe from being corrupted by the absolute power he just gained. He said, come for who? Come for me? I'm president. Call me or whatever his name, the director of the FBI. He fired him. That was one of the first things he did. He was all over the news. He fired him. He hit him with the, you know, he used to be an entertainer before. On e ETV. I used to watch that growing up on still on cable in Arabia. I used to see him come on in the mirror. You're fired. You're fired. He been practicing all his life to say that. Of course he said that. He hit him with the, call me, you're fired. Humiliating. Long story short, our boy B Big T fired Doggy Bomb. I told you in the beginning, everyone is human here, so let's not dehumanize nobody. And the human being is very flawed. You can say that the FBI has integrity. You can tell me all that. You can tell me your police force has integrity. We all watched George Floyd get beat to death and people try to cover it up. We all watched Brianna and whoever else get done dirty and they all stick together and cover it up. The blue wall of silence. The blue coat of, you know, brotherhood. If my boy going to do a crime, I'm not going to come on YouTube and tell you my boy came and did this. Because that's my boy. I don't agree with the, some of the crimes and stuff, but I'm like, bruh, I'd advise him. But bruh, like, I'm not going to come. We all have that. Everyone likes to protect their own. Whether it's about race, whether it's about a job, an industry, where it's always that us versus them mentality. So there's that, that blue wall of silence exists. And it's not just in the police force or FBI. It exists in any industry. Look at Africa Bambada. He was molesting boys for Lord knows how long. But people ain't, you know, it's Africa Bambada. They come for incentives or whatever. They cover it up for him. Human being is flawed. FBI is definitely flawed. But they're human. There definitely has that blue wall of silence. That director you just fired, there's a lot of people that he put on in that. And, 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 think of it like this. Like, this is a big old FBI building. And there's a hell of new agents coming in. You know, they're still new. Just getting in. Had dreams of putting on the vest. <laughs> and doing action movies. 
And then that's the big bro. He's a big bro to a lot of people. He taught him the game, taught him how to eat, stay out the way. You don't know how many lives this person affected. You don't know how many friends he got. He's the director. Of course, a lot of people had a, 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 a attachment or love or whatever to him for years, right? When you fired him, you made the beef official. See, it wasn't personal at first, or maybe it was, I don't know. But now it's really beef. When you fire a dude, someone in, in, in that office probably said, you know, someone who's cool with Comey, that could, that, I could have his name wrong. Someone cool with that director could have said, oh man, they fired my big bro. He got you? Like, yeah, he got me, bro. Damn, bro. Don't worry, man. You know, sad. He's sad. So he's like, oh, I, I'm going to get him back for you one day. We're going to get him. We're going to get him. Ah, don't worry about it, kiddo. Life goes on. No, no, no. You put me on in this force. I want to show you, boss. That cover. you know, these things happen. They're human. Don't dehumanize them. Blue wall of silence. So you probably ain't never going to admit to it or hear it. It is what it is. Big T comes the day, you know, they try to get him a piece, didn't work. Eventually, he got the love of the people and the hood. Black people didn't like him. You remember? Every black man, I made a song where I was like, it was funny. I was like, uh, I guess I slapped the guy because he voted for Trump. I was being funny. Four years later, I liked the dude. He did a lot for black people. More than Obama or, or Sleepy Joe. He was funny, he was entertaining, and he did his president as his president job should. Very good. People during the pandemic, he blessed them with money. He did a lot. That was I felt and a lot of other things that I ain't gonna speak on. That PPP money hit good for a lot of y'all, huh? Now he's not president, but he plans on coming back. People voted Biden, or maybe Biden played and did fraud or whatever he did. Either way, Biden won. Now Biden's in power. We all know that Biden, even though I liked him and I felt that, okay, maybe he'll do better than T, I was wrong. Gas prices is one thing. See, things like gas prices, I can adjust to, I can accommodate. Things like, uh, like many, listen, two things you touched me on, Biden, that I personally started to not like you for. First thing is, instead of, we live in 2022, Web 3.0, instead of allowing Bitcoin to flourish and, and, and become like the European countries that have accepted it, and some uh, countries that even adopted it as a national currency. Like, what was it? Venezuela? What was the country? I forgot. But some countries, you know, they embraced it. Like, the world is progressing, Biden. Why are you going backward? No. Bitcoin, matter of national security. We must regulate it more. More than, more than, more than you already did? What do you want more, Biden? I'm not going to fault you for getting Hunter out of trouble. A father's got to do what a father's got to do. And plus, I like Hunter. I think Hunter is a cool dude. I would hang out with Hunter. He don't feel government. You know? He sit there. He smoke. Our mayor in Toronto, he smoked that too. And he hung in the hood. He got love. When he passed away, we were in like crackhead. I don't judge people, bruh. People love dude. Uh, Rob Ford, or was it? Rob Ford. So, me and Hunter could be friends if we have met. But don't act like, you know, like don't incarcerate people for the same thing like your son is doing. That's my problem. My problem is not, I'm not gonna 
Comment Hunter like all these guys are. Get off Hunter's back. But bruh, stop putting millions of black people, taking them away for their mothers, who are, you know, you've already ruined the, the, the black family. You've helped ruin it. You've helped put a bunch of people in jail through the drug war. You and Kamala. Why? Stop ruining people's lives, bro. You put the PPP money in a hood and you made it so easy. Like, what were you expecting, bro? What were you I'm, I never did PPP fraud, nor did I advocate for any fraud. But listen, certain things don't mix. Poverty leads to things. Aren't you guys the same people that put crack in the hood? So I'm just saying, bruh, focus on the right things. If you want to go out and, and possibly be remembered or maybe even have a second term, I don't think you want to. You're tired. You just want to relax, sleepy Joe. I get it. You only wake up to say Bitcoin is national security and, and, and talk about Lord knows what with Xi Jinping, who I also don't, look, don't like. That speech with Xi Jinping. Didn't make any sense. You're tired, Brody. If I was at your age, and when I do get to your age, hopefully, I wouldn't want to be in, in a position of president. That's too much stress for me. I'm the biggest rapper in my city, and that's already a lot of stress for me. I can't imagine being in a world where a leader it's, it's, it's a headache. Aren't you tired of yelling at Bitcoin? Aren't you tired of 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 of, of? like I liked you, bruh. I feel bad for you, really. I'm not I'm not coming at you hard. You're an older dude. But you're coming at the people hard. PPP for ten years, you're trying to start mass incarceration. You're trying to take away people from their families. You knew they were gonna do the fraud. You weren't giving up money. You said 600 bucks in the stimulus. 600 bucks? It's 2020, bruh. Rent ain't even 600 bucks. Most people's rent isn't. You told people they can't go outside and work, and you gave them $600. What were you expecting? That they were just gonna sit around and not do no PPP fraud? Or was it all the trap? Trump was one of the people in a way. He was like Hunter a little bit. He was kind of, you know, you felt the street guy in him. He liked hookers. He like, ah, we all do. I like dude. I'm not saying any Hunter should be treated like everybody else. I'm saying everybody else should be treated like how Hunter is. I'm done talking. I've been rambling at this point. But here's what I'm saying. All it is is a personal vendetta between Trump and the FBI. Whether it was a political move or, or, or they were getting back at him or it was Biden, Democrats getting back at him, I can't say. There's not enough info to say. I would assume yes, because I would assume yes, but I don't know if Biden ordered it. I think the only thing Biden should have ordered was some hookers of his own to come deliver him some pizza hut for me. <laughs> Shout out Hunter. If you have social media, Hunter, reach out. Let's connect. I, I don't even want to interview you or nothing. I just want to, you seem like a cool dude. I would rock with you. You know, maybe we could party together one day, have hookers and whatnot. But tell your dad, Hunter, tell your dad to chill on the black people, bruh. Him and Kamala trying to like incarcerate a million, Lord knows how much. Over PPP. Like, bruh, not everybody's rich, bruh. You ruined these hoods. You put crack in them, crack epidemic. These are crack babies. They're just trying to prosper. How about you educate them? How about you work on police, uh, uh, I want to say abolish, 
We're building a relationship. Take, take out the drug war. Use that tax money for cannabis. Fix the world, man. Prison, 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 prison. Everything. Action movie. FBI, SWAT team. <laughs> Helicopter. Stop it. You guys are no longer a first world country like this. Look at Canadian politicians and look at yours. And tell me I'm lying. Am I lying? Stop it. Life is not an action movie. Stop trying to put people, like, there's this demonic force going on in the U.S., man. I hope they heal from it. I hope people get to prosper. And, and, and one day, you know, MLK's dream can come to reality instead of, you know, you guys did assassinate MLK. Let's keep it 100. You did assassinate uh, uh, Black Panthers. When really they had dreams of us being one. For you guys out there, I'm going to make a separate video on what I'm about to say because I've already been going on too long. My boy T, they tried to get you, bruh. You got a nice lawyer. He got the same rap, uh, lawyer all the rappers in Atlanta be having, I heard. Like a top flight A1 lawyer. Saw Goodman. Million dollar lawyer. Yeah, what can I say? Good for you. Big T, if you end up back in office, don't go beefing with the FBI. Try to build a better FBI. Don't take people's money, because when you fire somebody, you're taking them out their position to feed themselves. That's coming from a dude who don't like these guys. But I'm just saying, bro, everybody's human. All of y'all, including Biden, be part of the solution, not the problem. Okay? The world is already in shambles. Try to fix up, not mix up. Put your own people in jail. You know what that does? You're driving your own. Honestly, you should know better at this point, man. Kamala, I don't know if it's self-hate what it is that got you acting out, but you need to fix up as well, Kamala. We voted, people voted that man because of you, Kamala. At least the black people and uh, minorities did, so. Don't put, don't, don't put the people that voted you in and liked you in, in, in prisons. It's all fun and games till it happens to somebody you know. Shout out to Hunter Biden. I'm not judging Hunter. Again, Hunter is my dude, but I'm saying, He's a prime example of the people. Hunter is one of the people. That's why I like Hunter. But I don't like this holier than thou, lying, cheating, stealing action movie. You know? Don't let the power get to your head. Build a legacy. Let people remember you as a good guy. All right? Because when we're all, we're all going to die, but when we're dead and gone, History is going to remember who was a hero and who wasn't. So leave a good one behind, huh? That being said, it's your boy AK. Make sure you smash the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Send a super thanks. I will say your name in the next one. I don't get a notification, so DM me on Instagram, AK Debris. I'm very fat. Watch out for fake accounts. Send super thanks. Keep my attention. Show me the receipt that you sent the money. I will say your name beginning of next video. That being said, I'll see you in the next one.